Good morning children. Welcome back to English online class. So children, in last class we were discussing about the third lesson, the most beautiful thing. So in today's class we will discuss further story. So let's begin today's class. All of you open your English textbook. And open page number twenty-eight. So, children, before starting today's class, let us recall the story. So, children, as for the announcement of the queen, all the arrangements were made for trip. So, the queen was very excited. She was so excited. Happy for her journey. So on that day, she wore her best dress, and also she wore her crown for the journey. The crowd increased as the royal vehicle moved out of the palace gates. The queen was not sure what she was seeking. So at the first, the queen was not sure what she is looking for and where she will find the most beautiful thing. So she was not having any idea. But as her carriage, carriage means vehicle. Rounded a hill, she looked back at the palace. So she saw the sun setting. The setting sun. So she saw the setting sun sparkle. Sparkle means shining. So the sun setting sun was shining between the white towers. The scene looked like something out of a story book. So, children, it means the scene looked as pretty as a picture in a story book. So, I think you might have read story books. So, how the pictures will be in story book in the same way she was feeling like. That scene was the pictures in the story book, so she was completely mesmerized. So why? Because she had never saw her palace this way before. She so she was wondered. The queen spent weeks traveling, so she spent. Weeks in a travel in her travel. So in her journey, she saw everywhere beauty everywhere. So she saw beauty in the flying birds. So birds flying back to their nest. She saw beauty in the birds. So she saw beauty in a newly born calf. So what do you mean by calf, children? Yes, very good. Calf is the baby of cow. So she saw beauty in the newly born calf. So even she saw beauty in the twinkling stars. Think twinkling stars means shining stars. So in her journeys, she saw beauty everywhere. One day, when the queen was sailing, sailing means boat, in a lake, she realized that she felt peaceful. Peaceful means calm and restful. So she felt peaceful for the first time. In many years, she never felt like this before. 
So first time she was feeling peaceful in her life, in her journey. Suddenly she understood. So children, let's see what happens next. With all her might, she broke off a piece of her crown. She tossed the piece into the lake and watched it slowly sink. I am ready to return home, she announced. So children, with all her might, means using all her strength. So the queen, using all her strength, she broke off a pieces of her crown. And then she tossed the piece into the lake and she was seeing it. It was slowly sink. Slowly sink means going down. Then she announced, she says to her advisor, now I am ready to return home and now I am ready to return Paris. So she announced. As she journeyed back, the queen left piece of her crown at the root of an old tree. She placed a piece at the bottom of a green bag and the top of a snow-capped mountain. She dropped a piece in a stream. She tied a piece onto the money of pony. Little by little, the queen's crown got smaller and smaller until nothing was left. She had found the most beautiful thing. It was the world. So children, as she journeyed back, journey ad means travel or go back. So as she traveled back, go back, the queen left a piece of her crown at the root of an old tree. So children, you can see the picture in your textbook page number 29. So she left a piece of crown at the root of an old tree. She placed a piece at the bottom of a green valley and the top of a snow-capped mountain. So how mountain was looking children? The mountain was looking like snow-capped. It wore a snow cap of snow. It was looking like that. So she left a piece of crown she on sorry she left a piece of crown bottom of at the bottom of a green valley and the top of a snow capped mountain she dropped a piece in a stream stream means river she tied a piece on to the bunny of a pony so what it means children it means she tied a piece onto the long hair on the neck of horse. So, little by little, the queen's crown got smaller and smaller. Because with the all of her strength, she broke her, broke off her crown into the pieces. And she threw it everywhere. So wherever she felt the place is most beautiful, she threw it there. So her crown got smaller and smaller. So nothing was left. She found the most beautiful thing. So children, as she promised, whoever will bring the most beautiful thing, they will be rewarded with her crown. So, as per her promise, she gave the crown wherever she felt the place is most beautiful. She threw the pieces of her crown. 
So finally, she had found the most beautiful thing. So what was that, children? Yes, you are right. World. So the most beautiful thing was the world. So children, here we complete the lesson. The most beautiful thing. Now let us move towards new words in this lesson. So the first one is twinkling. T W R N K L I N G. Twinkling. Second one is peaceful. P E A C E F U L. Peaceful. Third one is journey up. J O U R N E Y E G journey up. Fourth one green valley. G R E E N green V A double L E Y valley green valley. Fifth one snow cat. S N O W C A T P E D Snow Cat. Sixth one is Mountain. M O U N T A I N Mountain. Seventh one is Stream. S T R E A M Stream. Eighth one is Bottom. B O T T O M Bottom. Ninth one is Sailing. S A I L I N G Sailing. Say children, one more time I will repeat these words. So the first one is Twinkling. Second one is Peaceful. Third one is Journey Up. Fourth one, Green Valley. Fifth one, Snow Cat. Sixth one, Mountain. Seventh one is Stream. Eighth one is Water. Ninth one is Sand. Okay children, it was all about today's class. Now let us move towards today's homework part. And today's homework is... Read and write each word five times. So children, you have to read and then you have to write these nine new words five times in your homework notebook and also read the whole lesson once. Okay children, thank you.